Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Launch Good's first ever keynote. We're so excited to have you here with us today. The last year has been really difficult on all of us. The pandemic, the lockdown, being kept away from one another. And as a platform that's often turned to in times of need, Launch Good has felt an extra responsibility to step up. So we've been talking to you, we've been listening, and we've been building. And today we're excited to share with you some new products that we believe will forever change LaunchGrid and inshallah, our community. When we started LaunchGrid eight years ago, we were inspired by a verse of the Quran, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You're meant to be the best community brought forth for mankind. And we believed that if we could help tell stories, fund those stories, then we could build an inspired future and live up to those lofty ideals found in the Quran. And we've done just that. Over the last eight years, together, we have funded over 20,000 projects in 147 countries with nearly a million donors to the tune of $185 million. But we're just getting started. To talk more about what's in store for the future of LaunchGood is my co-founder, Emani Kalawe. And I'll be back at the end to tell you one more thing. Take it away, Emani. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much, Chris, and thank you all for joining us today. We are so excited to share with you incredible updates that we've been working on for a very long time. But also, we often don't take the time to stop, reflect, and celebrate all that we've accomplished together. Today, we celebrate, and today, we're so excited to share with you the most refreshing launch good experience ever. And there's something there for everyone. For our donors, we've completely revamped the way you find and discover projects through Elasticsearch and popular categories. And for our Ramadan Challenge fans, we have completely rethought the experience to make this the best Ramadan Challenge experience yet. And of course, for Zakat, a 1,400-year-old beautiful tradition, we've reimagined it for the 21st century. And for our campaign creators, you are at the heart of everything we do. We've rebuilt our campaign process from scratch to make it easier for you to go live and raise even more funds. And we've made it accessible to over 100 countries worldwide. And we can only do this by having world-class compliance and payment integrations. When we listen to you, we hear that you love LaunchGood because it's easy, it's fast, and it's secure. I'm thrilled to share today that the new LaunchGood is even easier faster, and even more secure. Thank you so much, Amani. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. What an incredible feeling it is to be able to serve you all in the work that we do day in and day out. You know, our community has such a strong legacy and contribution to civilization and design. And at LaunchGood, we're on a mission to harness that momentum into, inshallah, designing a better future. We're a small design team with the largest ambitions. In nature, the intersection of two ecosystems is where the most new life form takes place. And at LaunchGood, we operate on an intersection as well between contribution to humanity and technology. The global Muslim community is connected today like never before. You can see it in the data and you can feel it in the streets. And at LaunchGood Design, we spend our days obsessing how to take that connection and turn it into action. This is a design aspiration that we've actually set ourselves for every person visiting the platform to feel this global heartbeat. Over the years, you'll notice that our platform gets smoother and more refined. We wanna to build towards a healthier, more mindful digital life for our families and our communities. The community is already doing all the incredible work. We're only here to help amplify that good. We're not trying to build another community organization. We're trying to organize community. And many often mentions how every campaign is like a chapter in a global storybook of who Muslims are and showing our values in action. It's an honor to serve humanity by serving the Ummah and bringing our best minds together to design, inshallah, a more inspired future. At the heart of LaunchGood is our community our campaign creators, our donors, people like you, who we build our products for. 
Last year, no doubt, was a very challenging year. And our community used our platform in unprecedented ways. This fueled our drive to build the best product experience for you ever. And I'm so excited to share it all with you. Our new and improved user profile will be your new home to see all of the good that you have created and supported. A one-stop shop for everything LaunchGood has to offer, including being able to easily calculate Zakat. I'm so excited to share with you that with our new reporting, you'll be able to download data when you need it in a secure, fast, and easy way. We've used Elasticsearch to make it super fast and easy to find the campaigns that speak to you. Now, if you're looking for a tax deductible, Zakat Verified campaign that supports orphans, it will only take a couple of clicks. For our amazing campaign creators, we have made it easy for you to give us the minimum information required to go live in three easy steps. We adhere to industry leading standards and we are constantly challenging ourselves to improve so that you have a continually improving experience across all of our products. Our focus is to build a strong foundation from where all of our products can grow and we're only beginning. At LaunchGood, we have world-class compliance to enable us to support incredible projects worldwide. You, our users, are incredibly important to us, and we've worked really hard to ensure that we have a safe and secure platform. We value the trust that you place in us, so we ensure that every single campaign and every donation supports a legitimate cause. Every single campaign is screened by our internal compliance experts using industry-leading tools and partners. We screen each campaign against over 400 global sanctions lists and high-risk monitoring lists amongst many other checks. Our dedicated compliance and customer service team work extremely hard to ensure that each and every single campaign is vetted to the highest standards. Not only do we check for compliance, but every single campaign is reviewed manually to ensure that there are no violent or hateful messages. For those campaigns that are higher risk, we conduct enhanced due diligence, which includes delving deeper into areas such as organizational structure, adverse social media and news, and any significant parties. Finally, we have ongoing monitoring. Not only are we checking our campaign creators for any changes, which may result in additional checks, we also have a dedicated fraud specialist team who are monitoring donations on a daily basis. Our fraud specialists check transactions for any suspicious or fraudulent activity, and if need be, these are refunded to our donors to ensure the safety of our platform. This means that you can support comfortably on LaunchGood, knowing that we have provided the highest standard of security in the crowdfunding industry. It's time we talk about Zakat. Zakat is not just an obligation to give to charity that is given to the poor. And it is certainly not a mundane task equated to doing taxes. Zakat is this beautiful, divine tool of economic prosperity. The impact of Zakat has withered over the centuries. However, if done right, Zakat has the power to change the lives of billions. On our platform, you will find a vast selection of Zakat eligible causes, each of them verified by a Zakat expert individually. For the past year, our team has been working closely with experts and scholars in the Zakat field to create state-of-the-art interactive Zakat tools that will change the way Zakat is given forever. And that is why I am so excited to introduce to you Zakat.com. Over at Zakat.com, we're working on creating the world's most effective and easiest Zakat experience. We're working on a universal center of Zakat knowledge and game-changing tools that will tell you how much is to be given with confidence and clarity, and you can give to thousands of verified Zakat causes. Today marks the beginning of the beautiful journey of Zakat.com. So join us in reviving this pillar and reimagining it in the 21st century for you. I believe that together we can change the course of humanity. And now, over to Maryam. Salaam Alaikum. Our favorite time of the year is almost upon us. And this year, Launch Goods Ramadan Challenge is better and bigger than ever. We started the Ramadan Challenge six years ago with just 500 members. And believe it or not, it was basically a mailing list where we sent an email to our members with a campaign to support for every day of Ramadan. 
we wanted to ensure that our donors never missed a day of giving and that every day they gave to a different cause and supported it with a donation, even if it was just one dollar. Our donors made the intention and we helped with the rest. Since then, a lot has changed with the Ramadan challenge, but the goal remains the same. And this year, we're rolling out a completely new feature, a Ramadan challenge giving list. You can add campaigns to your giving list and we'll ensure that your auto donation goes to the specific campaigns that you selected. You can choose all 30 or select a few and we'll take care of the rest. At the end of the day, we'll ensure that your 30-day giving grid reflects your unique giving and impact. The great thing about the Ramadan challenge is that it allows you to diversify your giving without being limited to a certain cause or geography. So this Ramadan, you can build a water well in Mali or support an orphanage in Pakistan or feed the hungry in Portland. But I can tell you about it all day, but there's nothing like experiencing it for yourself. So I invite you to join me and thousands of other Muslims around the world automating their giving this Ramadan as part of Launch Goods Ramadan Challenge. And for our campaign creators, the Ramadan challenge comes with unique features for you as well. By fundraising on Launch Good during Ramadan, you have the opportunity to showcase your campaign to millions of donors around the world. And this year, we have the Ramadan referral program. When you start a campaign on Launch Good, you'll be able to create a unique team link and then use that link to invite others to join the Ramadan challenge. For every person that you refer to the Ramadan challenge, you'll get $50 to your campaign. Invite one friend, invite 10 friends, invite 500 friends. There's absolutely no limit. We expect to give away millions of dollars in prizes through the Ramadan referral program and our other daily contests. That, along with the generosity of our incredible donors, sets you up to not only meet your Ramadan challenge goals, but to exceed them. So start your campaign on Launch Good today, and let's make this your best Ramadan ever. Thank you for joining us today. But before I let you leave, I have one more thing. Or perhaps I should say one less thing. Zero platform fees. Starting today, anybody fundraising on LaunchGood will only have to pay credit card processing fees and nothing more. That allows our campaign creators and donors to maximize their impact. Now, of course, as a social enterprise, we need to keep the doors open. So when you go to check out, we're going to ask you to generously leave us a small tip. This small tip will allow us to keep doing good work and growing because good work needs to be sustainable. Thank you for joining us for the first ever Launch Good Keynote. A beautifully redesigned website, Elasticsearch, Zakat.com, a giving list for the Ramadan challenge, world-class compliance, and so much more. Welcome to the new Launch Good. Salahi wa barakatuh, the Riyaz and I in America for launch. I don't know. It's phenomenal and we really, really, as a team, are so proud and excited to be able to share this with the global community across the world. Um, I'm extremely, extremely excited. I'm just going to fix my audio real quick. I'm extremely, extremely excited. All right, salamu alaikum. Can you guys hear me okay now? Alhamdulillah, there's no tech company without some, uh, with some issues there. So salamu alaikum. Again, once again, really quickly, my name is Nadeem Riaz. I'm the development manager here at LaunchGood. Alhamdulillah, we're very, very excited. Hopefully, you guys really, really enjoyed that video. Uh, it was something that took a lot of time and effort to put into. And now we have an opportunity to hear from the speakers from the video. These are individuals who are leaders, innovators, and people who really put a lot of work into this, not to mention the team behind it as well, who we're going to hear from later on as well. 
So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. I'd like to introduce our first guest, uh, the individual who is the CEO and founder of LaunchGood. Many of you know him. I'd like to introduce Mr. Chris Blavault. How you doing, Chris? Assalamu alaikum. Hey, assalamu alaikum, Nadeem. Doing great, man. How you doing, man? How's everything? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, excellent. Good, good. So you're, you're shining right now, you're smiling. I gotta ask you, man, eight years coming, how did it feel to finally get your first keynote out? Uh, I mean, incredible, really. It, the, it's a, a perfect expression of everything the team's been working on and what type of comp company we are. Uh, you know, a lot of people knew Launch Good when I started it because they know me personally. And uh, it was a very scrappy startup in the beginning. And we've come a long way. We have 100 employees now. We've been operating for like eight years, over 100 million raised. Um, it's, it's a real, real business um, and social enterprise and professional. And I think this was our chance to reset expectations and understanding and help people see exactly how far along we've come. Um, and, and the beautiful thing about it, and I'll end with this, is the success of LaunchGood is actually the success of our community. Uh, it's aligned that way. If we're not helping the community, then we're not going to be growing ourselves. Um, so alhamdulillah, you know, we're, we're really grateful that we've grown so much and succeeded, but really it just means our community is thriving. Alhamdulillah, that's awesome, Chris. Thank you so much. And we look forward to hearing from more from you as we progress through the program. Next, I would like to introduce a co-founder of LaunchGood. She's also the COO. She was also just recently recognized, not to mention in Inc. Magazine's top 100 female founders of 2020. Without further ado, I'd like to invite and introduce all of you to Ms. Amani Kalawi. Hey, hey, Waikim Salam Nadim. How are you? Good, good. Alhamdulillah. How's it going? Good, good, good. Good to see good. you. Good to see you as well. Likewise, eight years coming. How did it feel to see yourself on the big screen? Yeah, I mean, it's always a little uncomfortable, but I'm so glad our team pushed through the discomfort to share some of the amazing news that we revealed today. And I think the most exciting thing for me is that too often we think that Muslim is inferior. And here we wanted to really change that, that it's not enough to just build a Muslim version of something. You have to truly build a better product. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Amani. And again, we look forward to hearing more from you as we progress today. Thank you so much. The next guest I would like to introduce is our, in many cases, behind the scenes, but she's actually our chief product officer. She was also very recently recognized as a member of the Forbes Technology Council, and she's none other than our chief product officer, Maria Arshad. Salaam alaikum, Maria. Like How are you doing? How you doing? Good, Alhamdulillah. Good, good, Alhamdulillah. Maria, I work with you, Alhamdulillah. I know the tenacity <laughs> in which you accomplish your tasks. How does it finally feel to be able to share all of these enhancements, improvements with the global community? It feels great. And I really hope that people find a lot of benefit. To me, I'm just waiting for that feedback and I want to hear from everyone what they think. Tell me all of it, like the good, the bad and the ugly, right? And we're just starting. So that's the other thing to remind everybody. This is just the beginning of this new launch good. And it's about like going, you know, really far with wherever the community wants us to go. So it's, we're here for them. And I'm just so excited that I can get a play up a role in it. So yeah, awesome, super cool. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much, Mari. I appreciate it. We'll be talking to you very, very soon. Next, I would like to introduce uh, the first person I met, I like to think when I came into launch good, uh, she's an OG, veteran of LaunchGood, been here for many, many years, local of Minnesota. Without further ado, LaunchGood's product manager, Ms. Maryam Al-Khatib. Salaam alaikum, Maryam. Hey, wa alaikum salam. How's it going, Nadim? Good, good. Alhamdulillah. How you doing? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Feeling great. Good, good. So many roles, so many moves. You've been here since the beginning. How does it see and how does it feel to finally get to this point? It feels great. And actually, uh, you know, when I mentioned those first 500 people that joined the Ramadan Challenge, that was one of them. I wasn't part of the Launch Good team at that point, but I, I found out about the Ramadan Challenge and I thought it was the most incredible thing. And that's when I fell in love uh, with Launch Good. And alhamdulillah, I've been blessed to be able to join on the other side and be part of the team that gets to work on the Ramadan Challenge and be part of all of this. So it's, a, it's amazing to see the growth um, and to see the excellence uh, that Launch Good can put forth, alhamdulillah, for the community. That's awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. And we'll hear from you very soon. Next, I would like to introduce uh, someone who has really innovated LaunchGood in the best of ways. Uh, she's a newer member to the team, but mashallah, she's made strides that LaunchGood has been waiting eight years for. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our Zakah manager, uh, Zainab Hussein. Assalamu alaikum, Zainab. Waalaikum salam, Nadeem. How's it going? Good, good. Alhamdulillah. We don't see the little one with you here today, huh? <laughs> no, he's with my mom. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Zainab, very quickly, 
what does it feel to see Zakat on this keynote? What, what emotions are you going through? How did it feel to finally share it with the world? It's so surreal. Um, you know, I feel so grateful that I get to play such a small part in this global movement. And the best part is that it, this is just the beginning, mashallah. And when it comes to Zakat, I'm so excited to transform it at a global level and ultimately bringing together Zakat givers and Zakat recipients and really transform what Zakat truly means and what Zakat is supposed to mean, which is purification and growth of your wealth. So inshallah, this is just the beginning of something amazing to come. Thank you so much, Zainab. Really, really appreciate it. We'll be talking to you very soon. And our last guest, but not least, arguably with the coolest title within our Launchka team, Many employees probably fought over this name. I'd like to introduce our financial crime risk manager, Ms. Aisha Khan from the UK. Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. How are you doing? Oh, I got a salam alaikum. I'm good, Hamda. How are you? Good, good. Doing good. Thank you so much. Compliance, vetting campaigns, so many different words in there. We're looking to learn a little bit more about that. But how did it feel to finally be able to share our master plan to ensure compliance with the rest of the world? It's really exciting. Um, you know, it's really great. Um, I'm really happy to share that and I hope it's very insightful to a lot of people. Um, we have a lot of questions around compliance and I think there's a lot of hard work that goes on in the background. Um, we hold ourselves accountable to, accountable to very high standards. We actually uh, hold ourselves accountable to the financial industry. Um, so we go above and beyond and that's not always visible. So hopefully, inshallah, the video alleviates some people's concerns around compliance. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aisha. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, again, just a reminder to those that are viewing and those that are there in the audience, this is an opportunity for you guys to ask your questions. Our team has designed this platform with our users in mind. Whether you're a donor looking to make a donation to a vetted campaign or you're a campaign creator or an organization that is in need of raising funds and you want to do so ethically and compliance with, within compliance. So with that being said, you guys have the chat, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram, whatever medium you're on, chat your questions and we'll be sure to bring them live. And if you wanna address them to a specific individual, please go ahead and do so. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off. Again, the keynote was phenomenal even for me to watch. And one of the first things that crossed my mind is the last thing that we saw. And that is, what do you mean by zero fees, right? Um, this is an industry word, we've been hearing about it, but maybe we can throw this one to Chris. What exactly do you mean by zero fees and how is LaunchKit able to do this? Uh, yes, thank you. We're really excited about this. It's, it's going to be hard for people to believe, but it's actually been an idea of ours for 2000 days. So it's like, like I think like six years. Uh, we looked back when we first started having this idea. Um, and every time we built it, because you have to build it specific to your payment processors. We faced, unfortunately, some discrimination as Muslims in banking. Um, and we would have to switch processors and we'd have to redo it all over again. And it happened once, it happened twice. Um, and now this is our third time. And, and finally, we have control over our financial uh, payment system and we can actually do this. And so we're really excited. Uh, but what it means is just as it sounds, when you're fundraising on launch, let's say you raise $10,000, you're going to get $10,000 just minus the credit card fees, um, which we can't control. If we could waive those, we would waive those as well. Uh, and then for the donors, uh, what we will ask is if they leave a small tip. And it's a risk for us, right? Because before we knew that we'd always get 5%, which we think is a very reasonable amount to take to sustain our work. But now we're just going to say, hey, you can leave what you want. You want to leave 5%, you want to leave 10%, you want to leave nothing. It's up to you. Um, and uh, But we know we have a generous community and our testing has proven that. Um, so we're excited and, and we know that we can, inshallah, sustain our platform, but at the same time, allow our campaign creators, anyone fundraising on launch could just to raise uh, whatever they raise and they get that just minus the credit card fees. That is awesome. That is awesome. Really excited to see that. And obviously we've seen this come up in the space quite a bit. So finally to see LaunchKit to be able to take that step is, is, a, huge, uh, is a huge blessing. Uh, thank you so much, Chris. Really, really appreciate that. Um, the other thing that this really crossed my mind is, and I'm sure many of you are thinking about this, is we're in the month of April, right? It's April 2nd. Uh, Ramadan is literally days away. And I'm sure on the mind of many people is fundraising. Where are you going to give your zakah? What organizations do I want to support? And, and maybe I can throw this either Maria or Imani or maybe both of you is what new features are part of this release that we can count on to benefit from this Ramadan? Go ahead, Imani. 
Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. One of my favorite features that uh, we launched is really the ability to discover incredible causes. And what's so interesting about that is uh, the way we've added Elasticsearch, the ability to allow anybody to quickly find projects they care about, whether it's orphans, refugees, 5013Cs, Canadian nonprofits, Zakat. And that's one of the biggest pieces that we heard from you is that you want to be able to easily find the causes that matter most to you. And I'm excited that we've made it this much easier this year, inshallah. Thanks, Amari. So just to add to that, and I think what is so exciting about this particular feature for our campaign creators is that now our donors, they often actually are looking for campaigns. They want to support your amazing causes. So we've just made it easy for them to discover the projects that you have on Launch Good. In addition, I mean, we have amazing things here that Mariam was talking about with the uh, leaderboards where cumulatively the prize pool is $2 million that's being given away. So that's, you can come and get some part of it just by being on launch code. So as long as you, you stand, you know, land somewhere on that leaderboard, whether it's most raised or, you know, most donors, you have a shot of winning and there's a whole bunch of other categories. There's so much coming. Uh, nobody else offers this by the way. So on, this is like a very unique thing for launch good. So it's really important uh, to get to know more about it. You can check out our website and there's a lot of information there. You know, Nadeem is always your man. He can answer lots of questions. Please reach out to him. Um, and there's so much more that we're doing for our CCs uh, in terms of making their experience better. Just like Aisha talked about her compliance parts and then also thinking about like, you know, when it comes to reporting, the data that you need. So all of that, like we've enhanced everything. And as I said, please let us know what you feel and tell me the good and the bad and the ugly. And I'm going to keep repeating that because I want people to tell me what it feels like for them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mariam. I actually, one more quick follow-up is, uh, what does the future look like? And again, a lot of people in the chat are asking this. Is LaunchGood thinking about releasing an app for easy donations? Great question. So we always evaluate if this is something that we want to do, right? And you have to, you know, I was talking about putting in all these practices that help us make these decisions. So we have to really focus on the basics first. There are certain things that we have to provide our uh, use, you know, our customers, our campaign creators, our donors, the people part of our community. So we start with the most basic, most important things, and then we're moving our way. And as I said, it's only the beginning. There's lots in store. And uh, when it comes to an app, you know, it's a cool idea. And as I said, tell me everything. So whatever ideas you have, happy to hear. And we will be evaluating. We've got an amazing team. The developers have been working so hard. Uh, I'm so proud of them, what they've been able to accomplish. That is awesome. So we're, so we're looking forward to, to many more keynotes to come is what you're telling us, Maria, right? Oh, absolutely. The, you know, awesome. this is just one of them. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to shift it a little bit because I see some comments in the chat as well about the Ramadan challenge. Uh, I think, what is it, Mariam, uh, let's bring up Mariam on the stage. Um, I think with 1 million, you know, potential donors out there now, what is, what is this Ramadan going to look like for them as far as, I mean, there's a lot of different campaigns. A lot of people have different you know, uh, goals of what they want to support in Ramadan. How does it look like this year in terms of picking those campaigns? Yeah. So again, I think uh, I'm a little biased here, but I, again, I, I fell in love with Launch Good because of the Ramadan challenge. And for me, it was the fact that every day of Ramadan, you can give to a different cause, right? So mashallah, there's a lot of amazing causes during Ramadan. And sometimes, it, you know, it's like, you know, do I commit to this organization or this cause or this location? And you should support them all. But with the Ramadan challenge, alhamdulillah, with literally, literally just a few clicks, uh, you can support 30 different causes. And I remember feeling like, wow, this is like a dollar, like this dollar uh, going every day is like a sadaqa jari. So you're building 30 different sadaqa jariyas in 30 different locations that you may never, you, know, you may never get to visit or see the impact of directly, but inshallah is going to get accepted. And so when you sign up for the Ramadan challenge, you tell us how much you want to give every day. It could be as little as $1, 10, 20, whatever, whatever you want. Um, and then uh, we, we take care of the rest. We have a feature called the giving list where you can go in and, you know, uh, tap camp, tap like with a simple tap of a heart on a campaign, you can add campaigns to your giving list and we'll make sure your automated donation goes to those campaigns. And you can edit this, you know, throughout Ramadan, right? So during Ramadan, your friends are going to be sharing campaigns. You might see a new one. You'll be like, oh, I love that one. So you tap it. We add it to your giving list. The next auto charge will go there. Um, and then if you you know, don't want to choose or you haven't chosen all 30, LaunchGood will take care of it for you and, and we'll make sure that it goes to a deserving campaign and we'll send you a receipt just so you, that you see where that uh, daily donation went, inshallah. 
Yeah, that, that one's always really helpful for me because I always make my my list of, you know, I want to donate this to this day. You just forget that automated feature really, really helps. Uh, another quick question, uh, you know, we mentioned it for the donors, but now for you mentioned the Ramadan referral program um, uh, in the video. And uh, can you explain a little bit more about that? How does that work? How does that benefit? Is it really $50 per sign up? Yes, yes. We MVP'd this concept. We just tested the concept last year um, and it was, a, it, was a, it was a big hit with our campaign creator. So this year we've formalized the process. Uh, we've added features. So it literally lives within your campaign. So when you start a campaign on LaunchGood, as soon as you're in there, you're going to see a tab that says Ramadan. You click on that tab within your admin panel. You go in, create your own team link, and then you use that team link to invite others to the Ramadan challenge. I mean, this is how much we believe in the power of Ramadan challenge and getting as many Muslims to contribute because the more people donating every day, the more campaigns that can benefit. And so if you're a campaign creator, you can help us uh, get people to sign up for the Ramadan challenge. You'll get a $50 prize for every referral uh, to your campaign. Absolutely no limit. That is awesome. And, and what about if I'm not associated with any specific campaign, but I'm home this Ramadan, you know, I want to be, I want to be proactive. I want to do something I haven't done before. Is there any way I can get referrals and benefit an organization as an individual? Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, by signing up for the Ramadan challenge, uh, you can actually you get your own uh, unique link um, once you're in there. And then you can use that to invite your friends. And every time a person joins the Ramadan challenge through you, you actually get an email letting you know. So you can feel that barakah of, of the share. Um, and inshallah, you know, with every person that joins, again, it's, it, you know, times 30, right? Because that person is giving $30 because of you. And then that person is benefiting 30 campaigns, 30 causes. Uh, so the more people you invite, um, the more uh, you can bring and we always encourage people just invite one friend and that alone doubles your own impact awesome Mariam really really appreciate it thank you so much uh, I want to shift things now in the direction of zakah right this is a really new big one for us on the launch good team um, and and for this I would love to call up Zainab our, our zakah manager and I wanted to ask you Zainab uh, you know obviously just like Ramadan is on our minds zakah is on a lot of people's minds because we know Ramadan is prime time for giving our zakah so what is new this year? What can we expect? And, and tell us a little bit more about that verification process uh, that makes us comfortably give to these zakat eligible campaigns. Absolutely. So before I get to the verification process, um, I just want to talk about uh, a little bit about um, the process of calculating zakat. It can sometimes feel very overwhelming, complicated. You may have multiple streams of income, investments, things like that. So our brand new calculator that we're launching very soon, um, is very conversational, so it takes you step by step. It honestly, to me, it feels like as a Gath expert, like talking to you um, as you go through the process, which is awesome. Um, so once you calculate your Gath with confidence and clarity, and then um, you will find hundreds of Gath eligible causes. Each of them is individually verified by our team of scholars and compliance experts that we work with. So if you see a campaign uh, this Ramadan that says Zakat eligible, it's been verified. So all you need to worry about is finding a cause and giving uh, giving your Zakat, inshallah. Um, and, um, and something cool that I love about our calculator is that you can actually keep track of your Zakat. Um, even if you don't pay your Zakat on launch good, you can still keep track of it on your profile. Um, and just, you know, just increase that baraka year after year, inshallah. That's awesome, Zainab. Just a quick question. I guess we turned this into a, a you know, a zakah forum, but are donations to Muslim schools zakah eligible? Um, so I'm not a zakat expert. So um, if this is coming from a campaign creator, what I would say is create a campaign. And depending on um, on where, who your recipients are exactly, um, our team of experts will uh, will analyze that, and then uh, and then we'll verify the campaign based on based on those things. Sounds great. And one other quick question I saw come up a couple times is if they're an organization and they want to get Zakat verified, how long can they expect that to take that process? So we're aiming, inshallah, um, once you submit your campaign, about two uh, business days, inshallah, uh, in the time that it can be verified. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you so much, Zainab. Really, really excited to see Zakat awesome. launch good this year. Inshallah. Thank you, Nadine. Awesome. So one of the things consistent across all of these different products that you see has been launch goods design, right? Really focusing on the user journey to navigate you through an experience that's not just transactional, but rather you enjoy the entire process. So with that being said, again, whether Maria or Amani or anybody can chime in here is what has LaunchKit done from an aesthetic standpoint to make this process enjoyable, to make it a platform where you enjoy visiting it, 
just because of the way you engage with it. Um, so maybe Maria, I'd love to hear from you if you can just kind of share what has LaunchGrid done this year and what do we plan to do moving forward? Yeah, great question. So this is a question actually for Omar Hamid, who, who he's not here because he's in Sydney, Australia, and it's a crazy, you know, like late at night time for him. Um, but I, you know, I'm just so proud of our team. Uh, I think when it comes to really understanding uh, about telling our story or telling your story as the people who are on our platform uh, visually in a way that um, really resonates with those who are coming and really having that idea of, you know, building uh, a place where our community can organize itself. Uh, it just, you know, like for me, it's been actually very inspiring to see that. So that's more on the creative side and all of that. But when it comes to uh, just having industry leading practices, we do things like design sprints. That's something Mariam uh, started and we did, did one and Zainab also did another one, which really helps us come together and give our input as a team. So it's not just one team like trying to make decisions. It's collaborative. So we have people from all areas. I know Nadim, you actually joined one of those, right? And then we have an amazing, another, our VP of design, uh, who's uh, Omar Shazad, you know, his name is Omar as well. And uh, yes, yeah, so they are just amazing at like figuring out how to present the detail in a way that really makes it easy for our uh, visitors and people who are using our platform. And we do uh, testing. So we talk to people, actually we get on calls uh, with people and we say, hey, what do you think? Tell us, right? And again, they tell us everything. Just like I say, I want to know everything. And uh, also what we do is uh, we use tools to kind of understand like how people are interacting and where are the friction points? What are things that we can take away? Um, and we, uh, you know, just kind of find inspiration anywhere we can. And uh, just having amazing people on the team, uh, uh, you know, for me, it's like very inspiring. And I'm just in awe. My job is to just kind of, you know, just be there and support them as much as much as possible. But it's really the team that takes care of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, Mario. No, thank you. And, I, and honestly, I'm a firsthand, uh, you know, can speak from experience on that because a lot of times with when we're dealing with our campaign creators, we, we listen to them, we, we take their feedback and we literally, what do we do? We just come to Maria, right? Like, hey, Maria, you know, this is what we need. Is it possible? So really it is a journey based on trying to provide the best experience for our users. So that's really, really powerful. Just a quick question for you, Maria. I know going back to the Ramadan challenge, uh, can people still join the Ramadan challenge after Ramadan starts? Do they still qualify? Yes, they can join anytime they want, even on the last day of Ramadan if they wanted. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Absolutely. And as an organization um, that is doing the Ramadan referral, um, when is the cutoff point for that? As far as when will we stop paying organizers the referral fee for bringing on signups? Yeah, it's a good question. I, that, that's a question for Mariam. Uh, and April 20th, I believe, is the date. Um, and it's just because, you know, we want to encourage people to take most benefit of Ramadan. And just your earlier question, can they sign up later? You know, that's another thing to remember. If you don't sign up now, you're not going to have that, you know, consistent giving. So it's really important to do it as soon as possible. But yes, we make it easy for people. You know, everybody has lives. Uh, they get busy and all of that. So yeah, April 20th is the uh, deadline for the referral program. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mario. Really, really appreciate it. Um, speaking of Ramadan challenge, right? So we mentioned how, you know, Chris said in the video, there's literally over 145 different countries all over the world where you can basically choose to support. So you can imagine the amount of security, compliance, vetting, validating campaign creators, making sure bank accounts are synced correctly. So speaking of security, I have a question for Aisha, and, and that is, um, what, what is it that we can expect from the compliance team when it comes to ensuring the trust of the donors as well as vetting these campaign creators as they come in? Uh, thank you, Nadim. Yes, good question. Um, so when we think about security and compliance, we always think of it from both angles for the campaign creator and our donor. So how can we make Launch Good the safest giving platform worldwide? Um, so from a donor's perspective, um, every single campaign is vetted um, and there's a manual review and we have a tiered approach. So we make sure that we're analyzing the risk for each individual campaign and we conduct the security checks accordingly. So this can give donors the comfort that every single campaign that goes live on LaunchGood is legitimate. The um, funds that they donate will actually go to the cause that's being promoted. And lastly, and most importantly, we are making sure that we're not breaching any sanctions. 
Um, so we're not sending any money to any countries or individuals that we're not legally permitted to. Um, and we're not breaching any other regulations that that campaign may be subject to. And then very quickly for our campaign creators, we also want to ensure their security. So we have an incredible fraud specialist team that are reviewing donations on a daily basis to make sure that none of the transactions are fraudulent. Um, and then lastly, I just want to quickly touch on the fact that our security checks are conducted at, they're the first step. So everything that is live on our platform has gone through enhanced due diligence. So you can donate with the trust and comfort knowing that every campaign um, is vetted to the highest standard in the industry. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aisha. Um, really, really appreciate it. Um, somebody just asked a question as well as far as um, will this be posted on socials? Absolutely. We will be posting and sharing this for everyone who wasn't intend be able to attend it live. They will be able to view this and check it out. So again, we, we just really wanted to discuss and talk about some of the key takeaways from our keynote. Um, you guys watched it live, but please do share it, continue to share this. Uh, part of the Baraka and blessings is when we hear something new and good, we wanna share it with others as well. Uh, before we kind of wrap things up, I did wanna just quickly hear from our team one last time and, and find out about what are campaigns that stood out to you this year? Uh, there's so many amazing campaigns all over the world, but just from each team member very quickly, what is a campaign you remember from this past year that was really exciting or, or profound to you? Um, let's go to kick it off, Chris. Definitely the Omar Gray campaign. That was our first uh, personal fundraiser that ever raised over a million um, dollars. And everyone thought that he was he was going to pass. Uh, and, and I think just the du'a of the community, the prayers of the community um, were accepted and kept him going. And now he's finally, he's, he's making a recovery and then we pray it's going to be a full recovery. Uh, but it's just so beautiful to see so many different people come together, support Brother Omari and his family and all of his kids. Uh, that one definitely stood out. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. What about you, Amani? Yeah, absolutely. My favorite campaign was when we raised over $3 million for COVID relief. And there was this beautiful effort to get people to donate their stimulus checks and really think about others in this trying time. Uh, and it was so amazing to see the Muslim community have their collective response to COVID. Awesome. Yeah. And, and honestly, one thing that really stood out to me, too, was how even though one organization took the initiative to see how the global community really just combined forces to really help as one. Um, it was really, really powerful. Thank you so much, Amani. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, what about you, Mariam? What was your campaign of the year? It's such an incredibly hard question. Uh, so I'm going <laughs> to I can't choose a favor. I'm going to take the easy answer. out. But I will tell you what I'm going to donate today for my Friday givers. Um, this is uh, the automated giving uh, every Juma. Um, it's a campaign I came up across while on Launch Good, and it's uh, called an uh, Independent Center for Blind in Malaysia. So uh, there's an organization that provides uh, uh, services uh, for those who are blind. Um, absolutely beautiful campaign. And I was so happy to stop upon it. So that's my current favorite one right now. <laughs> awesome. Good, good answer, Mariam. You snuck your way out of that one. Uh, let's go to jump over to Aisha. What about you, Aisha? What's been your campaign that stood out to you as of recent? Uh, same as Mariam. I can't, I can't pick an individual one. Um, but I'm just going to say, like, um, I think when as compliance, we've been able to help and make exceptions for campaigns that have been quite um, tricky to support. Um, that's that's always been a nice feeling to be able to help. Awesome, awesome, very cool. Yeah. Thank you, Aisha, for sharing that. What about you, Zainab? Um, again, that's just such a hard question because I've just been thinking for the past few minutes. Um, I think uh, individual campaigns are probably my favorite. Um, that's the essence of crowdfunding. And I remember Chris last year, um, he was crowdfunding uh, for an individual who was basically in debt and things like that. And just to see that progress of um, of helping them, um, you know, uh, pay off their debt, their uh, medical bills and things like that, that that's so extremely powerful. Um, and another campaign, sorry, I'll do two. Um, another campaign that really stands out for me is um, uh, building a mosque in Japan. Um, you know, every time I see it, I, I, I'm just amazed by it. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Zainab. Really, really appreciate it. And let's go ahead to Maria, lastly. What was the campaign that stood out to you? So, you, you know, just like everybody's saying, so many amazing campaigns, mashallah, and it's so hard to pick one. But I gave it a little thing, and thank you for giving me thinking time. Uh, so when it comes to, you know, LaunchGood, you could also use it to 
do Sadaka Jaria and legacy campaigns, right? And Nadim, you know that really well. Uh, that's one of your things. And so recently, uh, unfortunately, one of my friends lost her grandma, Allah Yarhamu, and uh, she wanted to do something good, right? So she decided to uh, set up a legacy campaign through Launch Good, which is uh, building a well. Um, I can't remember exactly where, but in, in you know, uh, uh, this is a project through Pious Projects, and you can go to launchgood.com slash legacy and find out more about it. But I was really amazed at how she wanted to do something good, and she uh, set it up on launch and didn't have to worry about where to send the money and once she's collected it, what to do with it. Like we took care of all of that, that and we really made the process easy for her. So I was so happy that we could uh, make a difference at such a, you know, buried time when you're going through so much difficulty and come and, uh, you know, maybe like Allah facilitated us to be uh, some form of relief for her. So I think that was really good for me to experience. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maria. And, and again, just as Maria brought it up, uh, Legacies on LaunchKid, that's also a new product we have this year, really gives you the opportunity, whether someone has passed and you want to honor them with a Sadaqa Jariya, you can launch a campaign for them. You can work with any partner or organization that you want to, as long as it's vetted by LaunchGood. And that's one side of it. The other side of legacy campaigns is it's your birthday. It's an anniversary. It's a moment you want to remember in your life. And rather than gifting something uh, physical and tangible that's going to lose value, you can invest it in something that's going to be ongoing and serve as a sadaqa jariya uh, to continue on. So again, this is uh, really, really an opportunity for anyone and everyone to partake in raising funds for, for a valuable cause. Um, uh, I really want to thank everyone for, for, for joining. Um, as a couple reminders, launchgood.com slash Ramadan. It's not too late. Now's the time to sign up for the Ramadan challenge. With Ramadan, you know, weeks away, we really want you to get on there, get signed up, and partake in checking out this amazing new product and feature. Uh, we talked a lot of, about a lot of things here today. You can also visit launchgood.com slash new to check out a lot of these new updates. Um, from a product standpoint, from a user experience standpoint, if you're a campaign creator, all of those updates are going to be on there as well. Uh, with that being said, we really wanted to thank you once again for partaking in LaunchGood's first ever historic keynote. Um, we made it this far because of you guys, because of the users, because of the donors, and we really, really humbly thank you. Um, the founders also expressed their gratitude and we wanted to just make this very clear that we are here to support. So again, if there's feedback, good or bad, give it to us, message us, reach out to us, and it would be our honor to assist in any way we can. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow all of us to reach Ramadan, Allahumma baligna Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the ability to help those that are in need. May he allow us to be the voice of the voiceless. May he allow us to give sight that don't have it. And may he allow us to provide hearing to those who don't have hearing. There's so many profound campaigns in Ramadan. There's something that you guys can support. May Allah give us the ability to walk on the path that is most pleasing to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability that our last day and our best day is the day that we meet him. And when we meet him, may we, may we have the deeds that are most pleasing to him. And may our platform be one that is of benefit, that is khair, whatever your religion may be, may launch could be a source of benefit. Jazakum Allah khairon. We really, really appreciate your time. Keep us in your du'as. And again, launchkit.com, check it out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.